Alright, let's talk about yung numbers 1 to 10 ng ating logic section sa so set 2 na explainer, uh, set 2 na booklet natin. Number 1, okay, this is visual spatial reasoning. Again, if you see things na nasa loob ng box, you can count them up. You have 1, this is 3, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 dots. So 1, 3, 5. So dahil 1 plus 2 is 3, at 3 plus 2 is 5, ang logical na kasunod is 7 yung kasunod. So, maghahanap tayo ng something na may 7. 7 na dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, pwedeng A. Ito 6. So, hindi pwede. 6 din to So, hindi pwede. Ito meron ng lines na hindi naman introduce dito. Walang lines anywhere there. Dahil pala namang 7 dots outright, this becomes our answer. Yung A. Number 2. Okay. So, dalawa yung bagay. Meron kang dot. Meron kang arrow. Sa so, dot muna tayo since yun ang pinakamadaling makita. We have it here. Tumipat siya dito sa gilid. Tapos yung ipa siya sa baba. Here. So, we can see na umiikot siya ng clockwise. Okay? So, ang kasunod, it has to be here. Ang gagawin natin next is to eliminate anything na walang dot dito sa baba. etong A, hindi na yan pwede. etong tatlong to, pare-parehong merong dot dyan. So, titignan natin ngayon yung arrow. Okay? Yung differentiating na part. So, the arrow here points to the left. Ang kasunod, you notice yung arrow na yun, ay magsisimula sa kung saan nakaturo yung arrow na to. So, saan to nakaturo? Okay, dito siya pumunta. At, ang turo niya ngayon ay pababa. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin, yung arrow, sinusundan niya yung kung saan nakaturo yung arrow na nagpe-proceed sa kanya. At dahil ito ay nakaturo sa baba, the arrow has to be here, dito sa baba. Okay? So, it has to have a dot here and an arrow somewhere here. Okay? Hindi natin lang kung saan nakaturo. And since ito lang ang merong arrow, sa so baba, the answer becomes letter B. Number 3. Again, if you see something like this, you can just complete the image like that para mabigyan ka ng clue kung ano yung sagot. So that is letter B. Okay? Hinahanap lang kung ano yung ilalagay doon. Number 4. This is T for 10. This is 100. Okay? This is uh, 10,000. So, ang kasunod niyan, kung tinitimes 10 lang natin ito lahat, should be 1,000. So, ang letters natin are M uh, and K. Ito na lang yung nalawang pagpipiliin kasi letter, number, letter. Okay? Hindi pwede ito. Hindi pwede ito. So, ang question would be, ano mas maganda? M o K? Okay? Now, uh, if you notice, uh, here, ang M, usually ginagamit yan per million. So, dito tayo sa K, kasi ang K is 4 kilo, which is another word for 1,000. So, the answer here, here is letter C. Number 5, okay, we have the circle sa ilalim, then the square, and then the hexagon, eh, the pentagon. Um, here, you have the circle uli sa ilalim, square, and then the pentagon. This is circle uli sa ilalim, tapos sa taas uli yung dalawa. D lang ang nasa ibabaw ang circle. Siya lang ang kitang buo. So, D ang sagot natin. Siya ang naiiba. Spot the difference kasi ito. Okay, yung number 6, ito yung uh, isa sa mga mahihirap na mga questions that I made up. Uh, I did this mainly because I wanted to test if uh, you are at that level na. And also, if hindi nyo siya makukuha, this is a good, ano ba ito, parang wall to hit. Um, yung iba kasi ang nangyayari. Pagdating dito sa question na ito, inubos na nila yung and titirang time nila. So, ang, uh, one of the uh, first things that I teach when I teach live is yung uh, way for you to determine whether a question is worth your time or not. Okay? So, I'm going to show you yung uh, kung paano makuha yung sagot na ito, made dito. But I want you to consider it as something na um, worth it pa ba to figure it out or kaya ko bang hulaan na lang at skip na lang yung sagot. Okay? Ang, uh, ang combination here works like this, okay? So, 0, 0, plus 1 is 1. Kung ano yun, i-add mo siya. So, one, uh, 100 plus 1 is 103. Ito ay 0, 1. So, that is 1. Plus 1, that is 2. So, magdadagdag tayo ng 2. 103. Yung 0, 3 plus 1 is going to give us 4. So, this is plus 4. Ito naman ay 7. 7 plus 1 is 8. So, this is plus 8. Ito namang 15. That is uh, 
6. Okay, 1 plus 5. Okay, 6 yun. So, digits ang pinag-uusapan yun. Add yung digits. So, 6 plus 1 is 7. Kaya, 122. So, anong gagawin natin dito? This is going to be this lang. Okay? Kung ano man yan, okay, plus 1, that is going to give us uh, 5. So, yun yung i-add natin, plus 5. So, the answer here is 127, letter C. Okay? So, it really is a little bit more complicated. Another thing you could do would be just to add all the digits. So, this is 1. This is plus, again, plus 1. So, 101. Ang digits naman niya ay 2. So, yun yung ina-add natin yung sum ng digits. 4, 8, this is 7, and this is 5. So, ang next one would be 10. Plus 10. The next number would have, would have been 137. Okay, so again, kung makahit kayo ng ganitong classic volume, hindi nyo talaga siya ma-figure out. Best case scenario, uh, maintindihan nyo siya at may time kayo to save sa dulo. Pero kung hindi talaga kaya, hulaan nyo na para hindi kayo mabuso ng time when you try to answer your booklet. Okay? 7. L-N-M-O-N. -N. So again, uh, sa mga itong mga sitwasyon, magandang uh, isulat yung ating uh, letters. You have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and then Z. Okay? So we bilugan lang natin yung mga uh, letters. You have L N tapos meron kang O, eh meron kang M, bumalik siya. And then pumunta siya sa O. Okay? Tapos bumalik ulit siya sa N. So if you notice a movement ay 2 steps forward, 1 step back, 2 steps forward, 1 step back. So, ang kasunod na is 2 steps forward, 1, 2, the correct answer is letter B, P. Okay? Okay, so, ito naman, 180, 75, 65, 60. So, 100 minus 80 is 20. Okay, this is minus 20. This is minus 15. This is minus 10. And then, this is minus 5. So, ang kasunod niya, dahil nagsiskip tayo ng tig 5 dito, ang susunod sa kanya would be minus 20, minus 15, minus 10, minus 5. So, nagdadagdag ka ng 5 basically. So, this would be minus 0. So, the answer here should be 60, letter A. Okay? Number 9, 1, 2, 4, 7, 8, 10. Okay? So, what you could do here is to uh, try muna to gauge kung ano yung nangyayari. You have plus 1 here. Then, you have plus 2 here. We have plus 3 here, then this is plus 1 again, and then plus 2. So, kung titignan mo, may emerging pattern dito. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. So, ito pwede maging 3. And dahil may 13 doon, that would be our answer, 13. Kasi 10 plus 3 is 13. So, these are just combinations na hindi ganun common. I made, made sure na ma-include ko yung as many kinds of patterns na posibleng lumabas para pa sa actual exam, marami kayong bakon. Number 10, last for this video, we have 1, 3, 7, 15, 31. 1 plus 2 is 3. This is plus 4. This is plus 8. And then this is plus 16. So, kung mapapansin, ito mismo ay kina times 2. Times 2. So, ibig sabihin, ito ita times 2 pa natin siya. That will be 32. At yun ang i-add natin sa 31. So, it's going to give us 63. The answer is letter C. 63. Okay? So, happy learning guys and God bless sa inyong lahat sa pag-review. Adya-adya kayo na yan. I'm always 